How's it going, tricks mates? This is Mr. Charles, and we're here with the midnight train to nowhere. Um, it's a very starry sky, though. That's the thing I noticed about this game. Don't know why. Okay, so this is the second game in the Christy Nicola week. Um, I I don't know much else about this game. It's another game that I literally couldn't have found unless I searched it in Google. Uh, that's fine. Uh, new game. Ooh. This would be an RPG maker? It looks very nice. Oh, what are you loitering here? Um, what am I loitering? Uh, doesn't that, isn't that like, oh, whatever, fine. Sorry, but you missed the last train. Next one leaves in the morning. Oh, I see where this is going. And they are like, oh, okay, might as well wait. Oh, what's this? It's a train. I oh, should get on board of it. And then there'll be some plot twist at the end. Yeah, I predicted the plot five seconds in. I mean, I might not even be right. Oh, we're very handsome. Look at us shift our eyes. Oh, the the next train to nowhere. I'll get on that. Uh, what time is it now? Do we have a watch? Is it time for us to get a watch? Can I can I leave? I don't think this is a good idea. Can I pick up that trash. Whoever left that trash is a very very bad individual. They should be prosecuted, taken to court. Is this train ever going to come? Oh, train is arriving soon. Do I have to interact with something first? Bench. Uh, oh, okay. I needed to sit on the bench. Oh, okay. How long were we waiting? Yeah, I'll get on this train. I want to be in the driver's seat. Driver's seat. Driver's... Oh, fine. Yeah, oh, what if I don't want to go in the first one? And then again, whenever I get on a train, I get in one and then I just move around lots until I find a good seat. Uh, yes. Oh, hello there. You have a very strange nose. And again, I have a very strange nose. Oh, hi, George. Oh, good, you know my name, too, apparently. Um, I am worried about the difference in our noses, though. That would not realistically happen. So you decided to board the train, apparently. I, I just didn't expect to see you in here. What do you think of my new job? Don't I look stylish in this uniform? The uniform's the only stylish bit of you. I don't get your nose. Oh, okay, cool. Ahem, anyways. Welcome aboard the midnight train to nowhere. Gee, am I going to be able to talk at some point? And I mean the character me, not me, me. Because I'm just talking as much as I can. Uh, no tickets, no destination. Simple as that. Oh, I wish I could go on a train like that. Just find a seat and enjoy the ride. We have a restaurant car, it's the third one. Oh yeah, I can move up and down the carriages. That's good. I guess that's it. I hope I remembered everything. Even though I'm new here, I feel like I've grasped everything pretty quickly. I guess I got the right job, eh? Please don't be afraid to ask me anything. That's why I'm here. Thomas and Alex are also here somewhere, I think. And so is Angela. She's in the cabin behind me. Are you sure you want to talk to her? Can I talk to you? How have you been? I'm sorry I haven't had the time to come see you. Life has been too busy the past few months. I haven't had any time to just, you know, hang around and relax. But don't worry about me. I'm a fighter. I will pull this through. Let me know if you need to talk more about Angelica and stuff. I wanna I wanna say something. I'm not fucking mute, am I? George, happy to see you again. Let me know if you need any assistance on your trip. Oh god, why can't I speak to you? Fine, I'll speak to someone else. Uh carriage. Uh, it's dark outside. We're literally nowhere, aren't we? What about this one? Sorry, George. I can't let you in. Not yet. Oh, wait. No yet. Okay. Go talk with others. All right. Fine. First, you don't let me talk, and now you're not letting me do what I want to do. I say I want my money back, but I didn't pay for this. Oh, hey, friend. You seem significant. Can I talk to you? And when I say talk, can I actually say my opinion to you? Hi there. It's quite a long ride, isn't it? Oh, okay, that's good. What's in here? Uh, hello. I'm starting to enjoy this trip. I've picked up reading again. Finally read all the books Dad gave me for Christmas. You should try it too if the ride gets boring. Oh, that's fine. I don't read from books. I read audiobooks. I'm actually on Catch-22 at the moment. It's a really good story. Oh, someone's dead. Someone's dead here. Uh, oh, friend, please get up. Dude, I don't know when was the last time I slept well. My mind is going crazy. Please, can you help me? I'll be in your debt. Um, 
can't you just fall asleep here? You're on the train to nowhere. It's not like we're going to stop anytime soon. Oh, alcohol. Good evening. Here for a late night snack? No, I'm here for some vodka. But what? <laughs> okay, why is that a thing? Have a nice trip. Oh, thank you. Why, why can I buy stuff? Is there going to be some kind of battle in a minute? I got hooked to this one documentary show. It's kind of hard to look from the small phone screen, though. All right. I don't... Wait, I can run? Uh, well, I can kind of run. I can go slightly faster. George, buddy, you came. We need to celebrate. The... Why? I'm on a train to nowhere. What's to celebrate? Can you go buy us some drinks? Don't worry, I'll treat. Here, this should be enough. Oh, okay. No, my money ran away. <laughs> That happens! My money! Don't let it run away. Why? Why is it running away? What is any of this? No, come back. One of my friends who won't let me speak will help us. Bitch! She doesn't even help me get the fucking court $10 bill. That makes no sense and you were literally no help. Oh, look at me. I'm doing my job just standing here. I'm sure I can stop all the cash coming if I just motherfucking stand here. Do you... Oh, fuck off, Peggy. Fine, good, great. I'm going to get a drink with my friend. I'm actually kind of frustrated right now. Oh, yeah, I need to get a drink. Um, Good evening. Here for a late night snack. You want beers for you and your friend? Sure thing. Here you go. Oh, so I can't even choose. Uh... Yeah, I'm here for a late night snack. I want to buy something. 1.9 milligrams of delicious... Oh, wait, I can use that. Yes, perfect. Um, have a nice trip. Um, you know what? I'm not going to talk to my friend yet. I'm going to fucking help this guy. In case for some reason I talk to that guy and the fucking game ends. Friend. Hey, is that melatonin? You, you're not going to use it? Can I have it then? Oh, man, thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I promise I'll get help. Can you just give me more fucking money or some shit? But now, sweet freedom, here I come. Good night, George. Uh. What? That doesn't happen when you go to sleep. You don't fade to nothing. Is this like purgatory? This definitely feels like purgatory. This feels purgatory enough. All right, cool. I just killed someone. Technically, you got the money back. Amazing. That is all I have left for this month. It would have been a shame if we lost it. You got the drinks. Let's celebrate. Yeah, and I also spent some on some fucking drugs to kill someone. Haha, I guess using the money for a couple of beers wasn't the wisest investment. Yeah, okay. I guess I just needed to treat myself for a change. I'm envious of Peggy. I hate her. Everything seems to roll the way she wants. She was unemployed like a week before she got her dream job. I mean, train conductor, that's not a bad job. Don't give me that look. I'm not giving up. This is the most interaction I've had the whole game. I gave someone a look, and I didn't even see myself look a certain way. All right, I've been thinking a lot, and I think it's okay to just chill for now. I'll get a job one day. The day is not today, but it could already be tomorrow. All right, are you going to fade to nothingness? I don't think I asked you yet why you ended up on board. Oh, oh, can I speak? Uh, no, it's because of her, isn't it? Yeah, totally. Man, you know you can't avoid her forever. She'll be gone soon and you'll regret everything. Alright, go see your space oddity. Who? Is is it... Is it this girl? Hey, friend. She doesn't look like she wants to talk. Well, clearly not her. Is it this person? I'm gay. She doesn't look like she wants to... Oh! Why did I think that was a guy? What's through here? Um... Mr. I was like one of the Rugrats grown up, except with brown hair. I tried everything, but I'm still stuck here. This train sure leads to nowhere. All right. Hey, bitch. You do look like a bitch. And you also look like one of the Rugrats. Uh, oh, hi, big bro. I'm surprised to see you here, too. Don't you start questioning me, too. It's enough that Dad is overprotecting. And if you really want to know, I'm actually doing pretty well. So there, I'm figuring out my life, and you're on the train to nowhere. I've got a feeling this is definitely purgatory. Who would have guessed? Cool. Uh, no one in here. Do I have to bother with anyone in here? Um, Maria? Why are you on the ceiling and why are you clouded in dark fire? 
George is here. Can you come down? Uh, I thought so. What the fuck is wrong with everyone here? Maria's floating in the ceiling. <laughs> As you do. She doesn't seem to hear when you call her. Oh, oh, we actually made a noise. Oh my god. So we're not a mute. Everyone just doesn't want us to talk. What's through here? The train ends here. Nowhere to go. But we're on a train to nowhere. This would just satisfy the whole fucking story. Okay, cool. So am I going back to Peggy now? My dear friend. What was the other shit I could get here? So we've got beer. And craft beer. Wait, so did one of us get a craft beer and one of us get a beer? He better have given me the fucking craft beer. No way is he fucking buying one really expensive drink and giving me a cheap one. I, I didn't even get a chance to say what beer I wanted. Uh, bitch, can I go through here yet? Oh wait, no, isn't there this door as well? Can't go any further, cool. Uh, what's in here then? Sorry, George, I can't let you in. Not yet. Go talk with other- There's no one to talk to! I do- I do! I need assistance! Why are you terrible at your job? I fucking- What else can I do? I spoke to you, didn't I? Hi there, it's quite a long ride, yeah. I spoke to you and you were really fucking boring. Nothing here. Uh, you didn't care about life. Oh, you're talking about- Oh, Space Girl. Oh, sorry, I shouldn't have asked. How's it going? Still no destination? What? Is that what I needed to do? Uh, what about you? I got hooked to this one documentary. Uh, we already did that. I can't speak to you. You don't care about me. And I don't know what I did with you. It was nice chatting with you. Cool. You don't care about life. Um, you... I don't know about you. Hi, bro. That one friend of yours, Maria, was it? Her boyfriend was asking my help with her, but I don't know her that well. Is that everything? Alright, so is that... Do I need to raise that with Maria and be like, hey, boyfriend stuff? Alright, what do you think, sir? So, Maria has been there on the ceiling for a while. Okay, I've tried to talk to her, but she doesn't want to come down. Do you have any ideas? You've known her longer, maybe you can help her come down. How? What do you expect from me? I'm calling! I'm calling! Nothing's working! Can I throw a rock at her or something? What do I do? Hi bro, I'm a friend of yours. Her boyfriend was asking my help with her, but I don't know her that well. Who's the boyfriend? I didn't miss a carriage, did I? I couldn't have. There's nothing here, except those that, yeah. There's nothing here. I can't go this way. This is li there's literally nothing I can do! I don't want to cut sort of walk through, but I have got work soon. Bartender, are you the boyfriend? You need to get someone down for the- How was I meant to get you the one to speak to? You're a fucking bartender! Hmm, that might be tricky. Why don't you ask our conductor? She has access to all kinds of tools. Fine, I'll do that then. Apparently, that's what I need to do. Now, you're not the conductor, are you? No, it's definitely the fucking Peggy bitch. Finally, some use for you. What? Maria's floating in the ceiling? That's not good, we need to get her down. Maybe you can reach her with a ladder. Just a second. Here you go. It's not as tall as I remembered, but it's worth a try. I'll come see her right after my shift ends. Alright, yeah, good. Leave me to do your fucking job. What are you even doing there? I genuinely want to know what her fucking job is. She should be checking tickets or some shit. Or I don't know, just somewhere not in public, standing and doing nothing. Alright, I'll get a ladder. Perfect. You place the stepladder on the floor and try reaching Maria. It's not enough. She's too far away. If she doesn't want to come down now, there's nothing we can do. I know it's hard when you really can't do anything. She has to take the first step coming down. I will stay here to support her. Or we could get a fucking bigger stepladder and drag her down. Thank you for trying though. I'm sure she appreciates that you care. Attention! The next stop, Angelica. Yeah, but fucking you said this was a train to nowhere! Angelica isn't nowhere! Angelica's Angelica! Next stop, Angelica. Is this where I get off? This makes no sense. There's no context in this. 
So am I going back to my friend Peggy now? Does she... Uh, friend? It was nice chatting with you. Okay. Oh. oh. Don't get me wrong. I like the design of this game. It's cute. If simplistic. But, come on. Peggy. Sigh. Yeah, I heard the announcement. I understand. I can't stop you. I'm just worried about you. Maybe it's good that you get some closure. That's why you're here, eh? Why are you here? Why is this your job? It's just like a, a psychotherapy ward mixed with trains. The door is locked. How the fuck do I get out of here? Can't go any further. Oh. Oh, the secret room. Hey, George. Are you dead or something? Are you not really here? Come, sit with me. Uh, oh, okay. I thought you went next to her. Oh, finally! We can talk! God, you are an antisocial main character. What are you doing? I'm thinking. Yeah, fucking lot. What are you thinking? Everything. Oh, that's very broad. Every aspect of my life, in my mind, at the same time. Wow, no wonder you can't sleep. Oh, we could have taken those drugs. That's good. You can't keep thinking everything at once. That won't lead anywhere. Try to focus on one thing at a time. Close your eyes. Now think of only one thing. Um, pretzels. First thing that comes to your mind. Pretzels. What is it? Pretzels. No, not dot dot dot. Pretzels. Spe no! Fine. Space. Whoa, what the fuck happened to your legs? Are you afraid of space? No, I'm afraid of your fucking legs. Yeah. Why? The emptiness, I guess. And that I can't control where I go. But isn't it also beautiful? Just floating in the emptiness and letting it take you wherever it takes you. Um. Well, no. It's not beautiful. I, d I wouldn't like that. Because I wouldn't be able to breathe. You may be. You've always known what you are doing with your life. No, I don't. Otherwise, I wouldn't be going away. Uh, okay. Where are you going? Okay. I guess it scares me to lose you now. You've been part of my life this whole time, and then suddenly... Well, if your life started from the beginning of this game, then theoretically you've only just kind of joined the party. But sure, I'll take that. You're not. I know. It's a shame we're not heading to the same direction. But who knows? Maybe one day our paths will merge together again. Not everything needs to be designed. Enjoy that you don't know what life gives you. Some reassuring would be nice, though. You're not alone with this. Everyone is scared, and that's okay. Just don't lose your nights to it. Or oh, okay. This train's name is quite misleading. Yeah, of course it is, because now we're at Angelica, not nowhere. It is going somewhere. It may feel like nowhere, but it is going somewhere. Remember that. All right, so it's just a metaphor. This is my stop. I will be changing trains here. Do you think you can sleep now? I think so. Sure, after a nice comfort talk. I'm happy to hear that. Uh, well then, good night, George. Yeah, bye. I hope you don't need your legs on the way out. Because you've lost most of them. Or well, the majority of your legs are gone. Uh, yes, happy. Ah, oh, was this all the story about letting someone go? That's cute. Game by Manny Su Yay! Happy ending! Happy music, purpleplanet.com. What an amazing fucking story. Created for IGMC 2017. Well, I'm a year late to the party, but I don't care. That's pretty fun. Alright, that's everything. I don't know why there's a continue. I don't really think I would have, like, saved, like, one minute in and then thought, I'll come back to this later. And the options... Uh... I should have kept always dash on, because then I wouldn't have needed to worry about dash. Alright, well, the Midnight Train to Nowhere. It's a pretty decent game. I like it. Um... Of course, it's not HD, but you know what you're going to do about that. I mean, the metaphor, the train to nowhere. Or, or you can add midnight to it so it sounds more romantic and cool. Um, I kind of get everyone just having issues on there and they're just trying to solve themselves or something. It was some kind of metaphysical journey, which was nice. But yeah, I don't know. Well, whatever. If you want to try the game, the link is in the description below. And without further ado, look up my books, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Until next time.